Woo! Wowza. Okay, so I'm so late. I went and worked out this morning. I'm mean, like, hey, girl, I worked out. That's, like, big for me with this back surgeries I've had. So, I'm trying to strengthen my abdomen muscles and my core. So, I started to get ready. I came home, took a shower, ate oatmeal, drank some water. Somebody's going to go, you probably shouldn't eat oatmeal. You should eat protein. Well, I wanted oatmeal. Hmm. It's a carb. I ate it in the morning. It's all good. Okay, I'm about to put some fat, some really good fat on my face. So, this is called mango oil, if you don't know this. Everybody needs this, men and women. You don't realize that this oil right here helps with everything. I mean, if you have eggs of a psoriasis, your kids do, you need to get this Nanga oil. It is so awesome. It's great for your skin. I'm always talking about skin and drinking coffee. Well, this morning I'm talking about working out and drinking water. Hey, girl. But anyway, good morning. I'm sorry I'm so late. I had to chase Minnie Pearl three doors down. I was trying to buy Chris Stapleton tickets, which I finally got in. It kept spinning and spinning and spinning. So anyway, my workout went great, Stacy. Thank you for asking me. I walked 15 minutes. I did 15 minutes of cardio on the treadmill. Hey. And then I did my thighs, my butt, and my abs on other machines. And I thought I wouldn't even be able to walk today because I did it yesterday. But hey, I'm like, I can't even feel it. But I think tomorrow will probably be the big day when it all kicks in and I won't be able to walk. But it'll be okay because I'm not stopping. Like, I'm on a mission. What I'm on a mission about is not really, I need to lose weight, of course. But I'm on a mission to get a little bit healthier and strengthen my core so that it supports my back. Because when you've had all these back surgeries, there's not a lot you can do. So, I'm going to have a trainer next week help me figure out what I need to do. Now, I just seal that in with daytime moisturizer. I had already done my other stuff. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is some silk. Got to slow down just a little bit. So, silk is a primer for your foundation. I know, right? Me, I'm working out. Okay. Primer is for people who have, um, like, large pores. If you have ring, uh, wrinkles, if you have, um, like, fine lines, if you have a road map, even, on your face, like, lines everywhere, you can use silk as a primer, and you put it on, listen, in a downward motion, and when you put it on with a silicone applicator, you don't waste any of it. It all goes exactly where you want it to go, so that's anywhere you have pores or fine lines. I always have, because I shave the fuzz off my face with the razor, you can see my pores more on my, right here. So, I always fill those pores in with silk and up here and around my eyes. I still have, like, it was just one pump and it still goes a long way because if you use this applicator, you're going to use every drop of that silk. You're not wasting anything. Okay, so that's silk and you just let it kind of sit there for a few seconds. And uh, Miss Penny, how are you today? I have thought about you every day. I have been going to call you every day. I asked Ashley about you yesterday. She told me you had had shingles. Bless your heart. Um, I hope you're doing better. I really hope you're doing better. You, you've been off to a rough, rocky start this year. So, it's time for everything to get better for you. Thanks, Kayla. This is a Wild Fox brand shirt. I found it at a Nordstrom Rack, Wild Fox. Um, yeah, it's really cute. It's coral, so I'm going to be wearing a coral lip color with this. Now, I'm going to use some light concealer. So, the light concealer is the one that I use. You can use it under your eyes if you have dark circles, if you have any spots you want to conceal. Now, around your eye, always tap gently with your third finger. That's your ring finger. Hi, Jane from the UK. How's it going with you? So, we have girls on here from the UK. Hey, I wonder if we have anybody from Australia on. Is anybody in here from Australia? Or how about New Zealand? I'm not even sure what time it is over there. I know that it's 19 hours difference in Auckland. It's already 19 hours ahead of me. I know that much. Canada's in the house. Hey, girl. Yay. I like to see where y'all are from. It's really fun. It's pretty crazy how we can all connect on Facebook, right? Okay, this is Medium Tinted Moisturizer. This is a great product of Stenogents that you can use. It's a moisturizer that Indiana girl, are you freezing up there? How's y'all's weather getting? Is it getting better? Like I hadn't even had time to watch the weather. It's 5 p.m. where she's at. It, wow. 
Okay, it's not even lunchtime here yet. It's probably getting close. I'm running late. But this is medium tinted moisturizer. Texas, girl, you in the same time zone as me. Florida. Hey, girls. So, you want to use your tinted moisturizer after you put your primer on. And it goes on really smoothly. Some people use a brush. I use my hand because it's just a daytime moisturizer. But it tints to your skin like foundation. So, it's a really, really, really great product to have. Okay. So, I'm going to use some dewy foundation now. Now, I'm using the back of my hand. It's freezing and snowing in Pennsylvania. Wow. It's a minus six degrees. It feels like a heat wave. Wow. Okay. This is dewy foundation. This is the only neutral foundation shade that we have. In other words, it'll go with either warm tones or cool tones. Now, girls, if you have somebody with medium skin tone and you're not sure what tone, what foundation, when in doubt, go with dewy because dewy just matches almost anybody. Um, now, if somebody is really fair, you want to go probably, especially if they have a pink undertone, you want to go with almond. So, I always keep at least four bottles of almond in my stock. I always keep at least four extra bottles of pearlizer, and I always keep at least six to eight dewy, because that's how much I sell of that dewy foundation. And when women are running out of foundation, you can believe this, they wait till the last second, they don't want to run out. So, you need to have it in stock for when they want their makeup. Not when we want our makeup, girl, we want it, okay? Okay, so you stipple, and this is what I do, and you might watch other people do their makeup different. This is what works for Lisa. Okay, so I really don't watch what other people do. I mean, I might should, because maybe I could learn something. I don't really have time to watch what other people do, because I'm too busy doing my own stuff. That's this. So I'm doing my own business, and my business, as a leader in this company, I want to tell you, I lead by example, and my example is to have work ethic, Work your business, and if you can't figure out how to be a, a person to get people to buy anything from you, like you just have to share a passion of something that you love. So, if you if you picked up something in your purse right now, something in your purse, there's something in your purse that you truly love so much that you really want to tell your friends about it. Now, think about why do you want to tell your friends about that, and what would you say? Okay, so if you truly love these products like I do, it's going to be easy to tell your friends about it. And then they're going to know that you're not telling them a lie. They're going to go, well, she's dead serious about this. Like, she really loves this stuff. Like, yes, I do. So, then it's like you're not really a salesperson. You're just being a share person. And every woman in the world wants makeup that's good, especially when they find out that ours has skincare built into it. So, it's not something hard for you to do. It's an easy job to have if you love the product, Okay. Now, when I first got in, all I knew was about lip scents. I didn't even know about the makeup, the skincare, mascara, any of that. I didn't know any of it. So, I, I didn't sell a lot of that at first. I sold mostly lip colors. And then when I started using the makeup and the skincare and learning about what it did, I was completely blown away. So, I tell everybody about it everywhere I go. They ask me about it because my hand's usually painted. Well, I cleaned my hand this morning because I, it looked kind of shabby after like three days. So, I'm going to repaint it. Now, with this top that I'm wearing, uh, is coral. So, I just use terracotta blush because what you would use with a coral color top. So, this cor this top is not pink. That means it's not, it's more of a warm color. It's got black lips on it. I won't be wearing any black lip color. I'm not. But the um, terracotta matches perfect with the top. You see that? So, you would not put pink blush on with this coral top. That would not look good. It would not match. Uh, now, the blush itself also has um, skincare built into it. Now, on my lips. Now, if you're one of my viewers that watch me every day or every other day or two or three days or whenever, okay, you'll know that I got Juvederm in my lips, I think, last week. So, they're a little bit still lumpy and they're, they calm down after a while. You don't have to panic. It's going to calm down. But I'm going to put on this really pretty color, and it's actually called Sweetheart Pink, but it's actually a pinkish coral, and it's going to still look good with my coral top. So, when you want a color, hey, Heather, I was just talking about you this morning to Diva, because the new mascara is going to blow you away, but it's not just the mascara, it's the primer, too. Okay, so this one is called Sweetheart Pink. And I just happen to have, like, three of these in stock, if anybody wants one today. It's a really pretty color. 
And my top came from a Nordstrom rack. And I got it a while back. I love you, Eve. I miss you too. What are you doing? Are you at work? Okay, so that's kind of like uh, three coats of Sweetheart Pink. I'm going to do another one because I need to get better coverage. I'll do it. Maybe this is three. I can't count. I ain't so huffy talking. Okay. Now, what a pretty color to go with this top. Oh, gosh. At, 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 oh, at Back Doctor. Okay. Are you in Monroe at the Back Doctor? Just say yes or no. Okay. Heather, yes. Okay. You're going to die when you see this primer. I hope you have time to wait and let me show it to you. Hold on one second. Let me get a gloss on. I'm going to show it to you. Oh, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. I was telling Diana, I was like, girl, wait till she sees this primer. Okay. Because the mascara itself makes your eyelashes grow. Okay. Longer and thicker. But the primer... Makes them very fat and plump, so it's really good on your lashes. I'm drying my lips really good before I put my gloss on. This is Sweetheart Pink. It's a coral pink. So, it matches with what I have on. Okay, so we're doing that. The gloss. Now, when you're doing a video, you have these big lips. I kind of messed up. I've got some right outside the line. I'll have to take some oops remover and kind of get that off. But I don't think anybody's going to get... Yeah, they're going to notice that. I'll have to get that off. Okay. So, I'm going to show Heather. I hope she's still on here with me. Heather, i got to show you this. Okay. Heather's a beautiful, gorgeous blonde in Arkansas that works in a salon. And she could do this business so big. I'm talking about like a rock star. If you... Girl, if you just keep yourself consistent, I'm telling you right now, you could do this business. Uh, I can see a big crown on your head. Okay, now watch. I'm curling my lashes. Okay, now here's the primer. This is called, it's the new undersense. And when you pull it out, okay, it's got, it's a kind of a beige color. Now I'm going to kind of wipe some of it off because there's a lot on the wand. But watch when I put it on my lashes. I already had a little bit of mascara on because when I worked out this morning, I put some mascara on and I know that's pretty crazy. Oh, good. Your customer's watching. So, see, your customer probably needs a really good mascara and she probably needs a pretty lip color. And if you had your hand painted today and you had some of this in stock, you'd probably sell a mascara and primer to every customer that you have because look at your lashes. They're huge. Your lashes are huge. Now, it's really easy to get off. The primer is not waterproof. Now, I'm going to use um, the humidity-proof mascara because the mascara now comes in waterproof, but it also comes in humidity-proof, which means it's not waterproof, but it stays on. It doesn't flake off. Okay, I am really priming these suckers. Okay, and it's really, I'm having to go back over it because I already had mascara on. Okay, now, this is the waterproof mascara. And this is the humidity-proof mascara. So, one is waterproof, one is humidity-proof. So, it takes Foops Makeup Remover to get this one off, and it takes water, washcloth, and some cleanser to get this off, and the primer. It comes off really easy. I haven't even done my mascara, but because Miss Heather was on, I had to pop on here and show her this primer because it is the bomb. Look at my eyelashes. You can't tell they're white right now, but when I put the mascara on top of it, you're going to love it. Say, so, okay, the mascara makes your eyelashes grow longer and thicker. The primer immediately makes them thicker, so it's great. It's the best primer. I used to buy L'Oreal um, Voluminous years ago, and I loved their primer, and I loved their mascara. Well, then I started using all of our products, Synergist, and I loved our mascara and understands that we had. I always used it, but now when this one came out, it's Katie Bar the Door, okay? I'm just telling you, Katie Bar the Door, because everybody has been buying this stuff like crazy, so, it's about lip sense, yes. It's about something that I am passionate about, and I love it, and I tell people about it. But truly, people will ask me today, wherever I go, are those your real lashes? And I'm going to go, mm-hmm, they are my real lashes. I grew these. I use a great mascara that grows my, my lashes longer and thicker, and then I have a great primer, too. And then they're going to say, oh, where'd you get that mascara? I'm going to go, well... I just happen to have three in my bag that I have with me and three primers. If you would like to buy one, you're welcome to buy one. I have it with me now. I'm a salesperson for the company. 
Uh, so it's great. So what's the difference? Kimberly's asking me what's the difference in which one. The humidity proof comes off easier. The waterproof one is waterproof. So it takes uh, Foops makeup remover to get it off. So the waterproof one it basically is harder to get off. But it's not hard if you use Foops. And I do usually use the waterproof mascara. But today I'm using the one that's called humidity proof. But look at my lashes, okay? I got really good ones. Now I'm 53 years old. Most 53 year old women don't have lashes like this. But if you use a really good mascara that protects your ma your lashes and keeps them moisturized, coated, also it makes them grow because it has a serum in the mascara that does that. So you're going to sell a ton of this if you're a distributor. And if you're not a distributor and you want to order it and maybe try this, you can order the mascara and the undersense on my website. It's Cinegents.com and then forward slash kiss and makeup. Um, I'll post that in the link, uh, under uh, in a link underneath. Um, but anyway, that is the way it is. Now, I had a little mascara on before I went work out the gym. So, you can kind of see that's how long my real lashes are here. That's without the primer or any extra mascara. I, mean, I just had a tiny bit on. But it really does grow your lashes really great. Okay. So, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Let's see what we're going to do on this eyebrow here. I'm going to show you how I can do it best. I take this little, this is really the best way to me. This little brush, this is called an e.l.f. eyeliner brush, and it has a slight angle to it. Okay, so I'm going to take the Rustic Brown Shadow Scent. This is an eyeshadow, and I'm going to dab a little bit on the end of that brush. I mean, just a little bitty bit. Okay, I'm going to look at where I want it to arch. I want it to arch right outside where my pupil, I'm lining my pupil up with the corner of my nose. I want my arch to be right there. So I drew a dot, I just, did a little dot. I'm going to connect it down here across the top. So, it's sort of like I'm almost drawing a line with eyeshadow. This is the rustic brown. It's the best color. If you if you have different stripes in your hair, like you have highlights or dark low lights, I have kind of both. Um, and then you just take this little brush and you feather this in. And if you'll do that, it's going to make you look like you have a perfect brow when you might not have a perfect brow. And brows are so popular right now. Now, you want this part to be a little thicker so you can just feather a little more in. I like the shadows because they're so easy to work with and they move. And then you just get a perfect brow. There you go. Now, I have no eyeshadow on. Okay, so I'm going to go over here, put the little dot above where I want my arch to be, connect it in a downward motion here, and then come over. I'm, I'm actually just drawing a line, but I'm using an eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow itself is an eyeshadow. You can actually use it for eyeliner. You can use it for eyeshadow. You can use it to color the roots of your hair. Did you know that? You can put the eyeshadow on the roots of your hair if your hair's got like gray roots. Like I got my hair done um, last week. I think I got it colored and cut, and then I go back and get it cut again because y'all don't know I chopped my hair off. Uh, two nights ago, I was in here, and I'm like, uh, my hair needs a little bit shorter, so I got the scissors, and I chopped it off myself, okay? When you chop it off yourself, then you end up having to go to the hairdresser and get it fixed. Now, so let me show you what we did. I chopped it off over here because I wanted it really thin and short, and then I wanted it thinner back here, so I went yesterday. I let Ashley cut that. I did not try to chop the back off because no telling what I would have looked like. Uh, I do not know, but I did pick up the long hair, and I chopped this part off. And I didn't know what it looked like because I couldn't see. So I go back to Ashley yesterday and she fixed me and sort of blended it all in. So now Lisa's back with short hair. You know, I've been a lot shorter than this even. But short hair is just me. I'm sorry. I like it. I wanted to grow it out. I just don't have a patience. And then if I grew it out, I don't even know what I'd do with it in the first place. Like pull it up in a messy bun? Okay, maybe. I don't know. Probably won't ever have long hair. I don't even have it long enough to get extensions. How sad is that? Okay, all right, this is black eyeliner. This is our brand new eye pencil, and it comes in brown, and it comes in black, and it you just roll it up. You don't have to sharpen it. It stays on all day. It's waterproof. Now, I do my eyeliner very simple like this. If you did not know we have this eyeliner, you're going to love it. Okay, now, I like mine to go about at least three quarters in, but I just went all the way because I forgot... I don't know what I'm doing. It's like, or not early, it's late. I've just been so busy this morning. I can't even tell you. I've had so many phone calls and so many text messages that I've been trying to answer everybody, and it's very difficult. 
and take a shower, and I worked out, and I ate oatmeal, and I chased the dog three doors down. Hello. Okay. Whew. All right, now I need to do some primer. No, really, I need to do my eyeshadow because I have done everything backwards. So, have you ever done something and you're like, oh, I just messed up everything, whatever, because I'm just playing anyways. Okay, I'm going to use, I'm figuring out what I'm going to use. So, let's see. I know y'all are cold where you're at. Maybe you're at home all bundled up. You don't have anywhere to go. I don't even know if y'all post mail people have been able to deliver the mail. Some of y'all are in so cold, you're going to love the eyeliner for sure. Oh, it's, yep, yeah, I'm not going to say nothing. It's supposed to come out in colors. The liners are, we have liquid eyeliner. We also use our eyeshadows for eyeliner, but this is a brand new, it's an eye pencil that we've had for about three months or four, and it is so awesome. It, you just roll it up and it goes on perfect and it stays on all day, so it's a really great product, black or brown. It is supposed to be coming out in different colors, but you did not hear that from me because I don't know anything. All right, now we're gonna use some candlelight eyeshadow, so let's do that. We're gonna do candlelight on the brow bone. Now, if you watch those videos to see how people are doing those perfect brows, they do the brow and then they take a concealer and they highlight that under the brow so it's perfect and then they take a concealer and they go over the top of the brow. Well, I'm doing that with candlelight eyeshadow because it actually just perfects the eyebrow when you do that. But the candlelight eyeshadow works perfect. And it also makes a great concealer as well. Okay, so there, that's the way that brow ended up looking pretty good. I think, yes, Kathy, they twist out. If you if you ordered the pencil liners, I promise you, they twist out. That's the only kind we have, that and liquid. And the liquid one comes in a little tube like this. So if you got the liquid, it comes in glittery blue. It comes in, which is called ocean. It comes in starry sky, which is black. And it comes in gilded, which is a bronze eyeliner that's really pretty. All three of these are really pretty. Um, I gotta show y'all my um, bracelets I got. So this is my Bayou Beauty Queen bracelet. It's made out of a sterling silver spoon. And then I've got some more bracelets on that are very to my heart bracelets. This one here has got a fleur-de-lis on it. This one here is one I got for Christmas from my friend. Renee, she gave me this. It's got mini paw. It's got a little mini puppy paw here. And then it's got a little queen bee right there. It's really cute and I love it. I'm so happy that I got it. I've worn it every day since she gave it to me. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now, okay, I did the candlelight over there. Now, see, if you have hooded eyes, you want to probably just do the candlelight, and then you want to put um, something on the lid, not way up high. Or you can, if you have a hooded eye, you can take a color. I'll show you this. Let's do this mulberry, okay? So, I'm going to do, if you have a hooded eye, what you want to do is you look at yourself in the mirror with your eye open, and the hooded part would be all up in there, okay? Well, then you would have skin up here, so you want to put a color up here to make it look like your crease is up higher, and it gives the illusion that you have a crease there instead of way down in here, which I really don't have a hooded eye, but I'm just showing you that's how you do eyeshadow on a hooded eye. Um, you put it up higher than, than what um, other people do that don't have hooded eyes. Okay, so I'm going to put mulberry all over. Like, how crazy. I, don't put your eyeliner on before you do this. I did it backwards. I do my shadows usually and then that. Okay, so I'm going to do some mulberry all over. Mulberry actually is a color that would go with just about anything. Now, I have on terracotta blush and I have on sweetheart pink lip color because... Um, matches this shirt really good. It's a pinkish coral color. Okay, now I'm going to take some candlelight shadow because I haven't done this. I sh see the difference in my two brows. This is the one where I I um, went around it and etched, you know, like contoured it. I don't know what the word is to say, but the candlelight shadow works like a concealer around your brow, and what you're doing is you are shaping it after you've put the um, color in it to clean up the edges, and it makes it a sharp, sharp eyebrow. So that's your candlelight. And you can use that candlelight for a great concealer too. Okay, so mulberry and candlelight. Okay, now I'm gonna take, um, ooh, what do I wanna use now? Ooh, I have green eyes. 
nobody wants to wait to let me hear, see what I should have done picked this. Okay, I'm going to use, oh, I don't know. Okay, I want to use some rose gold shimmer. I really want to use this candy cocoa shimmer. It's real pretty. Yeah, y'all want to see candy cocoa shimmer. It's a brown shimmer. It's beautiful. Carved out brows with candlelight. That is the perfect word. Thank you, Jana, for that. Okay, so this is Candy Cocoa Eyeshadow. It's a beautiful brown shimmer. And if it's candy and cocoa, okay, we all know we want it, right? So I'm gonna put that on the out, outer three quarters of my lid and just kind of blend up with it in the crease there. It's gonna give me a little bit of shimmer. Then I'm gonna do something different on the inner corners. Okay, on the inner corners, I'm going to use this one. This is Rose Gold Shimmer. Okay. Now, it's very glittery. And you just tap it on. Like, you don't really need to brush it if it says glitter. You need to tap that on. You can either use the applicator to tap it on, or you can use a brush. So, you can take your brush, get the glitter shadow on it, and then tap that on the lid. Because it works better instead of rubbing it in Okay, so let's do it like this, and we'll end up with that rose gold glitter because that rose gold will also match this top that I'm wearing, and it's going to be pretty. Okay. That will work. Okay, now I'm going to use some of the natural powder. So the natural powder comes in a tube like this, comes with a makeup brush on it. If you don't know, you have to get it to come through the bristles first when you first get one, so you prime it. It actually, let me show you. If you look inside here, it's got a little filter, like a little sponge filter, okay? And the powder goes through that sponge, and when you tap it, you're priming it, and it makes the powder go through the bristles. And sometimes people don't pound it enough, like. When you first get one, you gotta wake the neighbors up with the powder. When you wake the neighbors up, okay, and you pound it enough, you'll see that your powder starts coming through your bristles, okay? So, if you have not pounded it quite enough, Cassie, behave. I know I'm going to do my mascara, girl. Y'all like my shirt? I got this at a Nordstrom Rat. I got to do my other mascara, I know. Okay, so this is uh, um, the natural powder. I love all of these products so much. I'm kind of messed up, y'all, because I've been going to this gym for two, two whole days. That's, that's big for me. That's really big for me. Okay, so let's do mascara on the other eye. So I'm going to curl my lash with the eyelash curler. Cassie will not behave, that is for sure. She don't know how. She's, I'm, I don't know how either, but I'm trying to be a good example as a mother. I've been over here working all morning in my house, doing stuff after working out, so I have not stopped. Okay, so here's your primer. It's called Undersense. It makes, look how that thick your lashes. If y'all don't have this, you gotta be kidding. You got to be kidding me. If you don't have this primer, you got to be kidding because it's so good, look. Okay, what on the bottom, are you kidding? Okay, those, my bottom lashes are as long or longer than most people's top lashes. I'm just gonna have to tell you. I mean, you can't fake this, look. And y'all can't even tell on this camera how good it really is. Girl, I'm telling you. Those are the bomb lashes. Like, and I can't get a good photo. When I'm trying to photo, get a, get a photo of my lashes, something about I cannot hold my eye just right. Oh, my Lord, is it better? Kristen. Okay, Kristen. I can't even tell you. Is it... It's, okay, if I joined the company right now and I tried the mascara and the primer, that would be enough for me. I would love it that much until I would join the company just to do the mascara and the liner. I mean, the primer. Are you? It's so good. Okay, this is the Humidity Proof Mascara. It comes off easier than the waterproof. It's in the gold tube. comes in black and brown. You will love it. Okay, now, look. Those are my lashes. So the mascara grows your lashes. It has a serum in it that grows your lashes. So this is two products on my lashes, okay? I use the primer, which is called Undersense, in the light blue. That's important. 
the light blue. And then I'm using the gold mascara, but you can use the one in the blue. I have some of those in stock too, which is the waterproof. And I usually use the waterproof, but it's out of stock in the company and I only have two waterproof left. So if you need a waterproof, I do have those two, but I only have two. So the first two people that order on my website will get the two I have. I'm just saying. Okay, mm, I'm gonna try to move this. I know that lip color is great. It's Sweetheart Pink is the color. Okay, so we're gonna go with the mascara. Okay, these lashes are so long, they're touching. I'm gonna have to get a Q-tip and clean up under there. But look at the glitter on my eyes, really pretty. That's rose gold glitter eyeshadow. If y'all can see, I got right up in there so you can see better. Okay. All right, now let's get a Q-tip. And it's a cute Q-tip, it's leopard. Did you know they have Walmart has leopard Q-tips? Okay, I cleaned up under both of my eyes. And everything is matching. I gotta put more mascara because I like it. Now you're not really supposed to curl your lashes after you do the mascara, but sometimes I am I have been known to be a rule breaker. So I'm liable to do that. Look, my lashes are touching here too. Gosh, they're long. I mean, do you ever ever have had that problem? Your lashes are so long. Ooh. Okay. Okay, there's my spiel. Now on my lips is Summer Sunset. No, it's Sweetheart Pink. Sweetheart Pink is a really, really pretty color and you're gonna want that for spring. It's a corally pink. So if you'll see, my earrings have coral and pink and kind of a red and then my coral top, but this lip color matches both. So you can use this for coral or pink. I'm always a rule breaker. Oh, I don't mean to be. Okay, y'all have a blessed Friday. I'll see y'all probably maybe tomorrow. Bye girls.